It's the Suns and the Chicago Bulls in game six. The place is freaking going nuts and rocking. We just, you know, staved off elimination in Chicago. And the Suns are going to win the ball game. The Suns are still alive. There'll be no three-peat tonight. Hey! Hey! Go take some of that wood down. There won't be no ride this We bring it home. Place is going crazy. We get game six and game seven at home. We're going to win the NBA championship. Molly for three. Yes! And Jordan is able to go the distance. Worst thing that can happen. The Suns by two. It has come down to this possession. Call a timeout, no threes. Yeah, it was with no threes in the timeout. No, they're not. Because the threes only thing can beat us. Anything else is tied. He knew it was going to be in Michael's hands. He knew Michael was going to, you know, take the shot or, you know, get double team. He's going to find the open guy. They want Michael to get a full head of steam, try to keep him in the middle of the floor. Pippen has the ball, I believe, coming down the floor. We close out on him. I think Charles tried to make a steal, and the guy got open, and so here comes Pippen down the floor. So we're, we're starting to rotate. They always had a guy out there, whether it was a Steve Kerr, whether it was a John Pax, they always had that one guy that you needed to stay on because he was going to knock down shots. One of the most selfless players that I'd ever played with in John Paxson. He was injured throughout the early half of that season and lost his starting job to B.J. Armstrong. Found the ball in his hands with a chance to make the biggest shot of the year. So when he came and dished that ball out to Paxson to shoot that ball, I just rewound all of that whole season and was like, wow, we're going to end it with this. Grant didn't want to shoot the ball, and Grant gave up the ball, and, and Paxson had a chance to get his feet in rhythm, and when I saw the ball go to him, uh, my thought was, oh no. I'm like, oh, no, I mean, no. I think back on that shot of Paxson's, it seemed like I was watching that shot, it seemed like it took about an hour to get to the basket. When Paxson catches the ball, I'm underneath the basket, and I'm literally got my hands on my head, because I'm like, how, how did this happen? And every second of the flight path, I remember thinking, I really hope he misses it. Dang, that looks good. It looks like it's going in. Nah, I wouldn't go in. And I know it's going in. I'm perfect, and I know it's going in. John Paxson converts a three-pointer in Chicago 99 and Phoenix 98. I remember as Paxson runs back to the bench and I'm the first one to greet him coming off the bench. I'm halfway onto the floor. I pick him up in a big bear hug and lift him up over my head and everyone's slapping him on the shoulders and on the head and congratulating him. But we realize that we're only up one and they got Charles Barkley, Dan Marley, and Kevin Johnson. We got to finish this deal. Oliver Miller plays it. Here's Johnson. Johnson gets no, he could not get it off. Knocked away by Grant. It's all over. The Chicago Bulls have made it three straight NBA championships. That shot hurt us so much that we didn't have enough confidence coming out of that timeout to do what we needed to do, which was probably get the ball to Charles and, and try, to, try to make another miracle happen. We were right there where we could control this series, and one, you know, mishap against, you know, Michael and, and Paxson, who, you know, he wasn't going to miss that shot. It was heartbreaking, no question about it. I literally think about it once a week to this day. It was agony watching it, and it's agony even thinking about it. I mean, how many times do you have a chance at winning a championship, winning the ring? For me, you know, obviously, I've played for the Sun, been here, still live here. I think we had the better team. We just didn't win. You have a season that you have, the pinnacle of your career, the greatest season, and it's over like that. Unbelievable. But I had high hopes and expectations that with that team, which was really a good team that we had put together, that over the next few years, we could win a few championships, and it didn't happen. You know, it never stops hurting when you lose. You hate those missed opportunities, but that's sports.